I'll start with the head. I'll click on the object that is the head. We're also in object mode. So I'm going to click on the head or the artwork that represents the head for my character. And I want my cursor to be right in the middle of this head. So when I place my lattice object, it's going to appear right there. So there's two ways of doing this. You can go back to cursor and just click right in the middle of the head. Or I can go to select box, select the object that's my artwork, and choose Shift S on the keyboard and choose cursor to select it. What that's going to do is place the cursor right in the middle of our artwork. Convenient. Maybe it's easier to use the cursor. Whatever. Do what you want. Now that I've placed the cursor, I'm going to add a lattice. This creates a square object, a three-dimensional object around our artwork. I just moved my mouse or trackpad to get into 3D mode, and I hit zero on the keypad to bring me back into my 2D animation workspace or scene. Now with my lattice created, I'm going to divide it up into a number of sections to allow us to warp this head a little bit. Not too much. The head is not going to warp so much. So by clicking on Object Data Properties on the right-hand side panel, if I have the lattice selected, it's going to appear as a little green box with X in it. It's going to give me an option to segment or divide up the resolution of this lattice. I'm going to use W Resolution, and I'll just add 2. I think 2 is going to work fine. So we've just divided this cube up once, this lattice cube. Now, for the head, I don't know. I think I'm going to try and divide it down the middle as well. So let's go with resolution U and create another division. Now I can scale this cube. I have it selected. I'm in object mode. I'll hit S on the keyboard, and I can scale it to fit the size of the head. Now it just needs to go around the head to encapsulate the head because it will be deforming whatever's inside it. I can also choose S on the keyboard and by hitting Z I can just change the vertical height. G to move it and I will just hit Z to move it vertically. S to scale a little bit again. I can choose S and X to scale width. G and X to move it left and right. G and Z to move it up and down. So now we're going to attach this lattice to the artwork and to the armature so that we can control the artwork. And we need to have something that reflects the number of bones that we have in our skeletal system for this particular piece of artwork. So I have one bone. That's the head bone. I'm going to click on my skeletal structure and I'm going to go into edit mode. And I'm going to rename that bone that will be the head. So in edit mode, I've selected my bone. I've clicked on my bone properties tab. And I'm going to name this head. Now here's something to note when you're naming your bones. This is going to make it pretty easy for you. The very first bone that we created in our system will be called bone. The next one, bone one. Next one, bone two. Pretty simple. I've named this one head just because I want it to be a very obvious one for me to find you can see that it's now at the end of bone three. So here's a little tip. Only name the first bone within the skeletal structure that you want to change. So this first bone, I'm going to leave it at bone. But 
where I start my neck, I'm going to name the first bone neck. Now the next bone in the system, if I call that neck as well, it's going to, to automatically rename it neck.001. So this is going to be very easy for us to follow and it's going to be very easy for us to rename other things within our character's anatomy. So we only want to name the first bone within the structure. So this one is, let's change the name from bone to body. And every bone after that will be body 0 0.001. Then we're going to neck, neck 0 0.001. I'm going to choose the first bone in my tail structure. Now I'm not choosing the adjoining bones. I'm choosing the bone that represents the start of the tail. This bone is just there to connect our bone structure to the next bone structure. I will name that tail. Now you can copy that and click on every bone after that and just paste it in. And move on to the legs. This one will be called back leg left. I'm just going to copy that. Hit return. Click on the next bone. Back leg left, zero, zero, 001 automatically. Now remember, I did not select this bone that connects, that just connects the limbs, the limb structure to the spine. I'm only selecting the bone that represents the first bone within the bone structure of that limb. This will be back leg right. I'll copy that, click the next bone. We'll automatically name it. Move on to the front legs. Make sure that you name the limbs appropriately in terms of what side they're on, front, back, left, right. Is that too obvious? Once I have my entire bone structure named, it's going to make it very easy for me to select those bones with what we're going to do next. And that's connect our lattice work to our armature. Back into object mode, I'll select the lattice, choose the lattice in the object data properties tab, and I'm going to click on vertex groups. Yes, I know it sounds complicated when we use words like vertex groups, but this is the way it is. And once you do it a few times, you'll find how easy and smooth it is. So now what I needed to do here is create one vertex group for every bone that I'm connecting my lattice work to. Luckily, this lattice only has one bone to connect. So I will create one vertex group for that one bone. That bone was named head. If I name my vertex group the exact same as I did the bone that I'm attaching it to, I don't have to do anything else. It automatically attaches it to that bone. So now with the lattice work selected, I'm going to choose a modifier. I'm going to add a modifier called armature. By adding this armature modifier, it's allowing 
that communication to happen between our skeletal system and the lattice. Click on the little square beside the eyedropper and choose the armature from the drop-down list. If you're not sure which armature it was, if you have a bunch of other stuff like I do, hey, you can rename that armature. Blender's so clever. Fox armature. To make sure that I've chosen the right armature for that, I've clicked on my lattice box in object mode. I've selected the modifier properties tab and I'm choosing Fox Armature. Now my lattice is connected to the armature that we had created. Now I need to attach my artwork to the lattice. Currently, it's only the lattice that is connected to this bone. So to connect the artwork, I'm going to select the artwork in object mode. I'll add a modifier and select lattice. This will give me the option to select the lattice that I've just created. Once again, if you're not sure which lattice that would be, you can always click on the lattice. I love that word lattice. And rename it. It's probably a good idea to keep the name lattice in there. Now I can go back while in object mode, click on my artwork, and choose the lattice that I had just created. Now my artwork is connected to the lattice, and my lattice is connected to the armature that I've created. We're almost there. The cool thing about lattices and Blender is that when we divide them up, we can select certain pieces of the lattice to attach to the artwork so that we can morph and warp those in natural ways or completely unnatural ways, whatever you choose. So to correctly connect our artwork, to our lattice. We'll need to select the lattice in object mode. Choose edit mode so that we can see the vertices that make up our object. And then in our object data properties tab for the lattice, we're going to revisit our vertex groups. Because we only have one bone to connect this lattice work to, I'm just going to hit A on the keyboard while in edit mode and that will select all of the vertices for that lattice, which I can then assign to the head vertex group. So I'll just select the head vertex group, which represents that head bone we named earlier, and click Assign. Now, our lattice is connected to that specific bone, and our artwork is connected to our lattice. Go back into object mode, select our armature, and choose pose mode to test out our armature and the way that it connects. When I'm in pose mode, that enables me to select and move all of the bones within my character's skeletal structure, essentially posing them. You can see now that my artwork is connected to my lattice work. My lattice work is connected to my head bone. Continue creating lattices around all of your artwork objects and connecting them the way we did with the head. And then I'll show you a little more complex lattice so that we can bend specific limbs.